Hey guys, my name is David Lindberg and uh, this is another color grading tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how you can create a really cool, beautiful, uh, golden kind of cinematic look in just inside of the Premiere Pro. Uh, I don't recommend you to use Premiere Pro as your color grading tool, uh, to be honest, um, because I think there are other, other softwares that are better in this area. But I actually asked a few people if they wanted me to do a tutorial on Speedgrade, After Effects, Premiere, or DaVinci. The the most uh, most people said Premiere, so I'm gonna do this all in Premiere. Um, so and I'm gonna use a footage from Sean McLeod, which is a great director, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna link to his website beneath this video, so you can check his videos out and uh, yeah thank you for letting me use your beautiful footage Sean um, so I'm gonna do this color grading based on uh, a grade from a film I saw a few years ago called a very long engagement um, it's a really beautiful film um, but it's a very weird film as well because it's from France and um, not to be judgeful but let's be honest all films from France are very weird but um, they can be as beautiful as they are weird, because uh, somehow all the films from France are very well color graded, and uh, this one is as well. So, uh, and it, it has a really cool grading idea, because um, you cannot follow his side of the story. He's kind of like a soldier in World War One or something, and uh, then the the grading is like uh, a blue slash green cold look while her side of the story is like a golden um, golden warm red yellow look as you can see here on these screen grabs um, and it's really beautiful and I want to show you how you can achieve this look just inside of Premiere um, so I've done some grading already and as you can see here we are gonna come really close to this grade and actually just with one simple effect called Curves. Um, curves is, in my opinion, the most optimal grading tool you can use because you have so much control over the individual channels like red, blue and green, uh, as you can see here. And you also have the control over the luminance. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how you can create this look just by adding curves. Um, so I'm gonna uncheck this one. I'm gonna jump into effects curves and add this to adjustment layer. You can create an adjustment layer just by right click on this area and choose new item and adjustment layer. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we have a new curves effect with no adjustments at all. Um, what we first want to take a look at is the highlights. Uh, I usually just start with the highlights and make them uh, and just going First highlights, then midtones, and then shadows. And the highlights in this uh, look is kind of clipping, but still not uh, completely white. So it's kind of look like a film clipping instead of a video clipping, and it's still look good, I think. So how we can achieve that is to bring this top uh, point down just a little bit on the master curve here, and then we want to increase the highlights by adding another point beneath the top point and uh, just increase this one. And as you can see now, we have some really beautiful highlights here uh, and they are kind of clipping, but still not completely white. So it still looks kind of good in my opinion. And then we want to go into the mid-tones and the overall tone in the luminance. And as you can see, it's kind of like uh, a low key. So we want to bring down the mid-tones by adding a point in this middle area here and bring this down to something like something like this I think um, yeah and then we want to go into the shadows as you can see here the shadows are very deep and black so we don't want to be uh, making this you know smoky we want to make them really deep and black uh, like ink here so we want to have them something like this so now the luminous actually looks really good. Uh, you want to uh, just make sure that the, the line is 
good although you have done some several points here because as you can see if you are changing this point here the whole uh, curves is being affected so as you can see here the curves are going slightly above the top point here you don't want that because then you can mess up some things in the highlights so just make another point in the curves here and just take this down a little bit um, yeah so now the overall luminance in this video uh, in this uh, look is looking really good so I wanted to jump into the colors here so I wanted to start with the highlights as well in this um, session and um, as you can see the highlights are yellow but still they have some kind of a, um, a red touch in it so we want to decrease the, the blue top point here to so something like this and now it's looking way too green, so we want to increase the red channel here, here that point, uh, something like this, I think. So as you can see now, uh, if you look at these highlights here, they are kind of the same as the highlights in this one. Uh, so the highlights are looking good, uh, but as you can see, the overall tone in the mid-tones and the shadows are way too green, uh, sorry, too red, so we want to bring the red channel down by making a point in the middle area here and uh, just take this down to something something like this I think um, and uh, let's take a look here I think this looks really good uh, we can probably make some changes we could maybe Take the green channel here and bring the midtones down. Just touch something like that, maybe. And then we can take uh, the shadows areas here uh, and just make some point here, like here, and just bring it down so we make the shadows a little bit more yellow. Um, and as you can see now, we I think we're really close to this look. I think we don't have to do so much more. Uh, and this is just inside of Premiere Pro and just with one simple effect. So that's really cool, I think. Um, yeah, I think it really works. Uh, so actually, we're done. Um, what I think we can do to increase the cinematic feeling in this one is to add one of my uh, products called Particles, which is a package of 4K stock footage with some really high quality particles I think and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna link to, to the product in uh, the video description uh, but now I'm gonna add just a floating dust uh, with some small particles uh, I'm gonna actually add this on beneath the adjustment layer so that the, the particles are having the same grade as the overall scene and then we're gonna want to go into opacity and choose screen here and this will uh, add some small particles just flying around there uh, just to increase the cinematic feeling in this one. And because this is 4K and this footage is, uh, I think it's 2K, yeah. So then we can actually decrease the size of the, of the particles. Something like this. And also pushing this to the right. So this looks really good, I think. And uh, let's take a look at it. So as you can see, we have some really nice grading. And uh, I think the floating particles, uh, especially on the right side of the image, is making the scene look even more cinematic. So check out particles on my website. And uh, I'm going to link, uh, link to it uh, on the description below. And I hope you think it's as cool as I think it is how you can create this kind of uh, advanced look just by one simple effect in Premiere Pro. Um, how you can go from this to this. It's really cool. Um, and if you have any ideas or suggestions on tutorials I can do, uh, just comment below, like if you have any, uh, like a film look uh, or a grade you want me to show, show you how to achieve, just comment and I will make as many tutorials as possible for you. Thank you again and see you soon.